everyone, my name is Shishir Nigam and welcome to our channel Journey to Freedom where you can follow along on our journey to financial freedom through the world of Shopify and dropshipping. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon so you get notified every single time you put out a brand new video. So today we will be talking about dropshipping delivery times. Are they too long? Are customers willing to wait for that long? And I'll tell you about how we dealt with these delivery time issues on our dropshipping store and were able to overcome that major hurdle. So let's get right into it. Dropshipping delivery times. So what are the average shipping times that you can expect if you're ordering products from AliExpress? Um, what I mean is if you're ordering pr products directly from the supplier who is retailing them on, on, on AliExpress, then your average shipping time to your customer is probably going to be about two to four weeks. And this is for countries like the US, um, Canada, UK and Australia. It may be a bit slower in our experience to Canada and Australia, but generally US and UK two to four weeks. So if you're fulfilling directly from the supplier on AliExpress, then that is the kind of average shipping time your customers can expect. Now, if you're using a sourcing agent, then your shipping times may be slightly faster. What's a sourcing agent? So that's essentially a fulfillment party that's in the middle of yourself and the supplier. So the fulfillment agent will buy stock from the factories, keep it in their warehouses and fulfill it for you to the end customer. And oftentimes the fulfillment agents will have a dedicated shipping line that they utilize to get to the end customer faster than regular e-packet services. And that's because the AliExpress suppliers uh, specialize in manufacturing. They don't specialize in fulfillment. Whereas the sourcing agents do specialize in fulfillment and finding various alternatives to get your product to the end customer. So if, you, if you're using an agent, you may have slightly faster shipping times of one to three weeks. The third alternative is of course to have your inventory shipped over to a US warehouse. And that of course will make a major impact in reducing your shipping time to US customers especially. You could probably bring it down to four to five business days if you're shipping it out from a US warehouse. And we'll talk about that. So here's the main question that everybody asks that even we asked when we started out our drop shipping business is two to four weeks too long because in this day and age of same day shipping that people are so accustomed to from Amazon, why would anybody be willing to wait two to four weeks for a product? Now, here's the thing. What we found out is that customers can be surprisingly patient if they know what to expect. That's the key thing. You have to set the expectations right and they need to know what they're signing up for. They need to know that it will take two to four weeks to receive their products. So that's not a fact that you should be hiding anywhere in the, in the worry that customers will run away when they see the time frame. What we have found is that people are appreciative of the fact that you are upfront with them and being transparent that the shipping times will be two to four weeks. So we actually make it a point to display in multiple points along the purchase process explicitly what the shipping time will be. So on the product description page, on, um, on the checkout page, on the page where they choose their shipping option, and on the thank you page in the thank you emails, all of them repeat what our expected shipping time frame is going to be. And what I'd like to emphasize is that customer service is everything. It's much more important than your shipping time. You have to tell them what to expect. You have to provide them with tracking updates. And every time that there is progress in the shipment, you should notify them. And that is what keeps them in the loop. As long as they know what's going on, and as long as there's progress, customers are typically happy to wait for a unique item that they have found on your website. So another thing that you can also do is to have a frequently asked questions section on your website that very clearly, clearly elaborates on what the shipping policy is and what the expected shipping time that they can expect. So here's an example of how we do it on our, on, on our website. So this little, note here expected delivery sits on every single product description that we have on our website that's one of the first items that they see when they land on our page so it's very hard for anybody to miss and claim that they didn't that they did not know what the shipping timing will be 
And then this below is a snapshot of what our frequently asked questions uh, looks like for our shipping policy. When will my order be shipped? We are very explicit about how about when we expect the shipments to happen and when they will be receiving their orders again, two to four weeks. So all of these things are very important to be uh, clear about and not to try to hide them in, in a fine print somewhere. Now, finally, let's talk about how to improve the shipping speeds. There's multiple ways you can do it. First of all, as I mentioned, you can be holding inventory with your sourcing agent and that will speed up shipping times because then you won't have to wait for the factory to produce it and send it to your sourcing agent. They already have stock. Secondly, the location of your sourcing agent can also have an impact on, on your shipping times. For example, if your sourcing agent in China is located in Hong Kong or is located in Shenzhen, then it's likely that that will actually cut back on your shipping times because those two major, major cities are where a lot of uh, products flow through anyway when you're utilizing the e-packet service to send the products to US and UK and the big four countries. So if your uh, sourcing agent is located in Hong Kong or Shenzhen or Guangzhou, it can really make a difference in reducing the shipping speed. But if they're located outside of these cities further away, then um, it can add a few days to your shipping times. Thirdly, as I mentioned, you can improve your shipping speed by moving your inventory to a US warehouse. Now the, the point, the key thing there is of course that you then take a lot of risk in buying that inventory ahead of time, shipping it to your US warehouse and keeping it there because you have obviously not received orders for all of that stock yet. So you're betting that you'll be able to sell all of your inventory. So definitely there's a higher element of risk there that you are taking on on your own business. Fourthly, shipping times during holidays are very, very important. That's where you have to be even more crystal clear about when the customers can expect to receive their products. Because um, if people are buying pre presents for Christmas, for example, then you do not want to disappoint them and not have your, the products delivered in time for the gifting season or the gifting occasion. So all the more be transparent about your shipping times, especially in periods like Q4 or any other important holidays that you're advertising for. Overall, in summary, I'd like to say again that your service trumps the speed that you can offer. That's what we have found in our experience. And we have had quite a bit of success through sales in 2019. And all, of th all through that, our experience was that people and customers don't really mind a longer shipping time as long as you are frank about it and you're willing to uh, provide the best customer service possible and you're responsive to whatever queries that they may have. So I hope you found some value and learned about shipping speeds for drop shipping in this video. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button comment in the videos on uh, how you typically deal with the issue of delivery speeds for drop shipping and make sure to hit the subscribe button so you stay in, stay stay tuned for videos to come